So today by request, I'm gonna be having a look at a product that I have to confess, I do not have a lot of experience with this category. I have never used a set of surround sound headphones, but by request, I'm having a look at the AX51 Pro from Triton. This is an analog 5.1 surround sound, 3D directional precision gaming headset. So basically their whole thing is that they have four speakers in each one of these ear cups. They have a center channel, a front channel and a rear channel as well as a subwoofer in each side so that means that you've actually got a full analog output so a lot of the 5.1s out there do use drivers and they use software emulation or whatever else or they might even connect by USB but this one actually just uses your conventional uh, mic front center sub and then rear speaker jacks so it just plugs right into your sound card all right so let's just have a look at their packaging here so in the package you can see they outline all of the features which includes where the speakers are positioned in a traditional 5.1 setup okay thanks for that it shows that you can uh, independently control each sound field via the backlit inline controller so that's kind of nice okay you can have a look at that and then what else do we have here Okay, you can plug two of them into the AX Pro to game with a friend on a console. Uh, why ever you'd want to do that, I'm not 100% sure. You can interchange the ear cut padding, you can change the head rail padding, you can change, you can have a removable flexible microphone, and it has an Xbox Live port. Okay, I'm guessing that's why you would want to use it with a friend if you're a console gamer. And then, da -da 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 -da. okay, that's pretty much everything that we've got here. So why don't we get started on opening this thing up, and I hope that my knife is handy because otherwise this is going to be somewhat problematic there it is i do have my blade all right there we go so let's get this open and open it up i'm going to try and update with annotations once i've had a chance to try these things because i have to confess i am a little bit curious how the whole 5.1 headphone thing works i've never tried it before i have used 5.1 speakers and then I have used, you know, your standard stereo headphones for gaming, but just never this way. Oh, actually, there's something that I did want to show that was in here that I didn't have a good look at. So this is the speaker configuration within the earphones, so you can kind of have a look. I can't tell which is which, just off sort of the top of my head here, but I'm guessing the big one is the sub and the small ones are not, for one thing. All right, inside we have a... What is this? Okay, product registration as well as a quick start guide. This is a quick start guide. Okay, so it shows you how to plug in your analog connections, how to use the little inline thing. They're actually powered. Oh, that's interesting. So you have an AC jack that plugs into your headphones. Wow, okay. And then slide pad. Okay, yeah, okay, that's interesting. Quick start guide, thank you, Triton. Okay, and then we have in here, we have a little booklet that shows you other written products. Okay, there we go. So that's what's in there. Other stuff that you can also buy from them. And then we get down to the product itself. So here is what I'm assuming is the AC adapter. Yep. So that's a that's a reasonable sized adapter right there. That's like pretty big. Okay, so that plugs right into the headphones themselves. And then we can take off the... Let me see. What else is in here? There's got to be more stuff, right? Gotta be more stuff. Ah, okay. So in one of the boxes inside, we find, okay, we find an analog set of inputs connected to a custom connector here. Okay, so that's a little adapter there for us. Okay, and then we have, uh, oh, this is the mic. Okay, so it's kind of flexible. See, you can bend the mic and it'll stay where you sort of put it. Okay, so that plugs into the bottom of one of the ear cups. All right, and then we have a couple of exchangeable ear cups as well as an exchangeable piece for the for the top of the head for the top of the headset. Okay, so if you don't find the stock one comfortable, you can change it to that. That's very nice. Okay, and then that pretty much does it for our accessories. All right, so let's get this open. And ah, oh, I get it. Okay, so all of the exchangeable ones there that I just looked at, those are kind of pleathery ones, whereas the ones that actually come on the headphones. Are, um, are more of a cloth type. Okay. So I'm just try trying to get this out of the box here. Wow, that is a nice long cord. I like to see that actually, because if you have a long cord, then you uh, won't run out of cord if you sit far away from your computer while you're gaming or doing whatever else it is you're doing. Okay, so we'll pull that through there, and then we're finally getting to the point where we can talk about this thing a little bit. So at the end of the long cord, you'll find that custom connector right here. 
Okay, so that plugs in to adapt to the uh, to the 7.1, 5, excuse me, 5.1. And then you've got the DC in, okay, so that's for our AC adapter. And then here's our inline controller. Okay, so it gives us a little color coding, uh, color scheme code thing. So red is the max, cyan is high, white is medium, blue is low, and green is the minimum. All right, so that's really good to know. And then we have a little volume control thing right here on the side. Okay, and then over here, oh, voice volume, ooh, that's nice. Most of these I've seen only have on off, but this actually has a volume slider for that. And then this is to turn the microphone on and off, just right there, okay. So then you can press each of the buttons and it's color coded for how high you've got the volume, very cool. There's your Xbox 360 jack right there at the bottom. And now let's have a look at the headset itself. So first of all, I should figure out which way it goes. Ah, the labels are on the inside here, so you can see that's the right ear cup. So I'll just put that on like that. Okay, so it adjusts at the top, just like most headsets, and it's uh, quite adjustable. It can be adjusted quite far, so even if my head was like this big, then it would fit quite comfortably, but I'm probably gonna have it at about the medium setting, just like that. It's really, it's, it's kinda heavy, actually, is my first observation, but I guess it has to have some weight to it if you're gonna be able to stuff all of that extra electronics and speaker gear inside. I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot to say about it. It seems pretty, pretty well built. I wouldn't expect it to break if you accidentally drop it off your desk or do anything like that. I can't figure out just sort of like right now immediately how to change out the, uh, oh yeah, okay, so these just come off like that. Okay, that was pretty simple. So you can take off the cloth ones, you can replace it with the platinum ones. Oh, and you can see, there, there, there's a way better view of the speaker configuration. So you can see where all of the speakers are inside of the earphones, or headphones, excuse me. And then this one, I guess, is, oh, I don't want to break this. Okay, I can't really figure out how to take this one off, but yeah, you can exchange this one with the plasticky one as well. Okay, so thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Triton AX51 Pro 5.1 headphones. Oh, that's really uncomfortable without the foam piece there. <laughs>